Right, let's go to the statistics option because we've not been in there, there at all yet. So that's that very first one there, 2D stats page. Okay. So you get that. Right, remember on your at normal axes, you're entering two pieces of data. So you would use your normal 2D page to draw scatter diagrams because you're entering two pieces of data. You're plotting one against another, so you'd use the 2D. Whereas the stats page, you can't plot a scatter diagram on there because it's only a one-dimensional stats page. So it's only taking one piece of data or one list of data. So it's, you're not going to be able to do it through, through a statistics page, even though re, um, correlation and regression is statistics. Okay? So this page is all about drawing the diagrams. It's about drawing box and whisker diagrams and cumulative frequency diagrams. Okay? It's all about that kind of um, work. Now, as you've seen, these four boxes have lit up. Now, the two boxes, where are we? Lost them again, there. Enter data, we're on the 2D. On the 1D, we've still got enter data, but we've got enter raw data, and we've got enter grouped data. So, enter group data is when you want to enter a frequency table, perhaps. And enter raw data is, here's a list of numbers, I'd like to put it in, please. Okay. However, hidden away in group data is enter raw data. So we'll, we'll come to that one in a moment. Right, so first thing we'll do is we'll just put some data in and see what we can draw with it. Okay. Now, this is where I want to sort of rely on you being able to grab things out of Excel off the network because I want to get a really nice box and whisker diagram and I want to show you some comparisons. So, let's see if we can find that first. Can you just minimise down autograph and find the My Documents folder? And what I want you to find is in the data, I want the baby weight data. There we go. Let's get that out of the way. I've already got my data sorted over here. Okay, so I'm entering raw data here. So I'm going to enter raw data, so that's on this button here. And here's my data. And I want all of those that I've just got out of Excel into that column. Okay. So I'm going to paste them in. So control V. And there they are. They've all gone in. Control V. Yeah. Okay, and it's pasted them all in there. Okay. Can you repeat, please? Right. So I've copied them out of Excel with the, just down to about 100 pieces of data. Okay. So I've gone Control C and I've copied them out of that cell. I've gone into Autograph. And I've pasted them in to the raw data. That's control V. That's the shortcut for it. Now, it's called birth weight in kilograms. I've just clicked on use the data set for name. So instead of writing in here, birth weight kilograms, I am going to add on to there non-smoking. So I'm going to put non on there as well, just to say that I'm on non-smoking data. Okay. I'm also going to use the x-axis label checkbox as well, so it will label up the x-axis with birth weight in kilograms. So I'm going to have that one as well. And then when I press OK, it looks like nothing's happened. And you think, oh no, I've done something wrong again. But what has happened is, you've got this down here. So that little target shape there, that's my data. Remember, all of this could have been put in manually. If you're not, ter you know, if you're not terribly happy using Excel, which I'm not in 2007 version, then you can just put the data in manually. I've chosen 100 pieces of data just because this gives a really nice picture. Okay, but you can put your data in manually. You can change the column header as I've just shown you. It, it can all be done on the spot there and then. Okay, so we've got our birth weight here, so what can we do with it? Because it's the only piece of data that's there, I don't need to try and say, use this piece of data, so it's already using that piece of data. I've got up here now, 
box and whisker diagram highlighted, I've got dot plot highlighted, I've got sample means highlighted, I've got three mean three standard deviations, so I've got a number of options to use with that particular piece of data. I want a box and whisker diagram. So I'm going to check the box and whisker diagram. I've only got the option of using raw data because that's the only kind of data I've got in there. Press OK. And there it is. There's my box and whisker diagram of that particular piece of data. Okay. Now, shall we do all this with the smoking mothers as well? <laughs> right, I'm now going to repeat the process, but I'm going to repeat it with the smoking data. So you've got to find it on the spreadsheet. Right, so I'm going to put up the spreadsheet again. Now, all the smoking mothers, I'm just going to get rid of my keyboard there. All my smoking mothers start, let me find them. There, which is round about 717 on the rows. Okay, so it's a bit of playing with Excel here. I'm going to grab birth weights from 717 all the way down to about 817. I'm not including the header now because I'm just extracting some cells from the middle of a page. So I'm only extracting the cells, not taking the header with it. Okay? So I've got that. I'm going to press Control C again. I've just lost my keyboard. Let me, let me bring that back. To about 817 in column D, yeah? So Control C that. And I'm going to put that one back in on the raw data. Okay. Right. <laughs> it's about 717 in column D, and I've gone down to about 817 just to get another 100 pieces of data or so. Okay. Notice because I hadn't got the header selected. I haven't got that saying birth weights anymore. Okay? But because I've already done one already, I don't need it saying, saying anything like that. I've already got this labelled up as saying birth weight. I don't need to check this box to say use the x-axis as label. It's already there. But I could change it if I wanted to by selecting it right click. I'm just going to change the name. So instead of it saying raw data one, I'm just going to say something like smoke or smoking. Just to identify my data as the smoking mothers. And then I'm going to say OK. Okay. So now on my key, I've got my birth weight non-smoking mothers. And when I check the smoking one, I've got I can switch between the two data sets. So I'm on my smoking mothers now, and I'm going to put another box and whisker diagram on. And that's what I wanted to show you. So after all of that, that's what I wanted to show you. And that demonstrates possibly to your students, you can now have a whole heap of discussion on what those two box and whisker diagrams actually tell you. Okay, and remember these are birth weights of these children. And those were my non-smoking mothers, and here were my smoking mothers. And that quite clearly demonstrates the differences between the birth weights. Now obviously, you're having to get to grips with Excel and having to get to grips with Autograph as well. But you know, that particular piece of data is just very, 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 very clear what it's, the message it's trying to get across. You could then be discussing with your students about the interquartile ranges or medians and so on.